Welcome back. I'm here uh, with head football coach, Coach Kastner. Um, coach, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. So, uh, quick recap. Week two, we're back here at Mason. Um, you guys are taking on Centerville. Um, and, you know, Centerville came out strong. You know, they came out in a different defense than you guys had, you know, prepared yep. for. Um, and, you know, that threw you guys for a little bit of, or, you know, a little wrench in your guys' plan. Um, you know, but they scored, you know, all the points they scored in the first half came in that first quarter. Um, and so that second quarter was where you guys absolutely dominated the game. You know, um, I think it was like 10 seconds into the uh, second quarter, we had that 40 yard, 40 yard touchdown pass. Um, so can you talk to me a little bit about what happened in between that first and second quarter there? I think we just finally got our feet underneath us. Uh, we were able to uh, make some adjustments offensively because they did come out in a different front. So we were able to get our feet underneath us and, and then we got momentum on our side and from there, we didn't really look back. Uh, we, you know, we progressed into the into half. We were up at half. Third quarter was going going well, but all all along from the first quarter to the fourth quarter, we were still making mistakes, but we were up, so we were feeling comfortable, probably too comfortable. Mm -hmm. And do you think that that allowed Centerville to you know get back in the game, um, you know, in the fourth quarter? <laughs> yeah, well, and we had I think we had four or five turnovers. Mm -hmm. uh, we gave them some points and. I think we had nine penalties, so four or five turnovers and nine penalties, and you're still winning a game with two minutes and 24 seconds left. Uh, you're a pretty good team. Uh, you're not doing good things, uh, but you're allowing the other team to stay in the game. So I think we need to uh, eliminate those mistakes, and then uh, things will go a lot better for us, not just throughout the game, but at the end of the game. Yeah, and do you think like that is maybe you can attribute that maybe to your team, how young you guys are? Um, I, I would say yes, but you know, week one we played a pretty good team, Gahanna, who plays Centerville this week. So that'll be interesting to see who wins between Gahanna and Centerville and how that matchup goes. But you, we had zero penalties that first game. We didn't turn over the ball, you know. But this week we did. So maybe you could say Centerville forced it a little bit. It's hard to say. I think it was more self-inflicted. We were beating ourselves. We were winning, but we were beating ourselves, and we get, gave the opponent. Uh, uh, more opportunity than, than they, you know, we should have. Yeah, and so, you know, kind of running with this theme of, you know, a younger team, how does this, you know, you've got, um, you know, Quinn Taylor and all these young stars that are coming up, um, you know, just making great plays. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about, you know, who I guess your player of the game would be? Yeah, I, I, we don't have stars, but I, you use the word star. I, I, I feel you. I, I think we got a bunch of young men that, that want to believe and what we're doing, and they need that confidence to get them going. Uh, and, you know, whether it's Quentin Kaler, Larson Brown, um, you can go across the offensive line. I mean, we have a couple of juniors up there that are playing, and they're doing well, and they're growing and getting better. Um, defensively, we're playing lights out, really, for the most part. We're, we're, we're getting to the ball well. Um, we're tackling well. And so there's a lot of it's – a, it's a great team game right now for Mason Comets. Uh, across the board. So, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to point out one junior or, or one sophomore. I mean, there's some sophomores out there playing. Yeah. So, across the board, we're just going to continue to keep coming together and find this chemistry of how bad we want to come together. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, looking forward, uh, you guys are taking on Corain, first GMC game of the season. Um, right now, Corain's 0-2, but, you know, they've played some pretty big names. It's pretty big, uh, pretty good school. So, how do you approach this week, you know, given their past – History. Well, it's the same old, same old, right? I think yeah. you can say it. It's a great week to go 1-0. Uh, it's exciting because we're at home again. You know, we're at home again in Dwyer Field. We've had a great atmosphere. You know, we're still fighting from getting away from last year's, you know, environment. You, you know, you got to get rid of that whole year uh, because it wasn't a true high school environment for these young men playing the game. But it's, we're going into GMC play. We're excited to get into GMC play. And we're playing one of the best teams in the GMC. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be a fun night. It's supposed to be beautiful weather, you know, hopefully. We'll yeah. see. Keep our fingers crossed. But uh, the players are excited. The staff's really excited. And uh, we're hoping it's a great high school, high school football game. Mm -hmm. Well, for sure. And, you know, we're all excited to see how, how that bodes for you guys. Um, best of luck to you. And we'll see you guys next week on uh, in week three.